let's start off just talking about the issue of tracking people looking at decks just as an issue. How do you think about that? And how do you frame it with people who use the product and then customers who maybe are privacy sensitive, privacy sensitive? Yeah, it's a it's a great question. Um, and it's a it's a thorny one too, right? Because it's really at the the sender's discretion what they want. And I, I certainly did agree that for for some materials, it's you know you, you do want to have a local copy, and the sender can always turn on downloading. And once you download, we stop tracking. It's just in the browser, so we're not doing tracking at any level that is kind of above and beyond what any other website would do. We're just taking a document, making it into a website and, you know, showing engagement information. And for some people that's really critical and valuable. Um, oftentimes in fundraising where we get used the most is, or, or the beginning part is just that pitch deck that gets you the meeting or not. And there are a few things that are unintuitive there about why analytics are helpful. That document gets updated a lot. Like you, Jason, are looking at these things really fast. On average, investors only spend, it used to be three and a half minutes per pitch deck. Now it's down to three minutes per pitch deck during the pandemic. It's a whole other story. But then, you know, there's a lot writing on that. The founder's updating it a lot. So if I send you, you know, an attachment, which is my deck, and then I don't hear from you for three days, but now I've suddenly updated a bunch of stuff in there. Do I send you the new one? I don't even know if you've looked at the old one. And it's just kind of an awkward way to start off. So I can see if you've looked at it, I can update it. I never have to tell you that I updated the thing. So you basically have this way of controlling who's seen what and having this audit trail. And the per page analytics are useful sometimes, but, but more just like, um, you know, do, do you look at it? Did you care? So the flip side of this is that when you spend time reading someone's deck, you're giving that founder a really big compliment because you're giving them your time. So, you know, in some instances you're like, yeah, I don't really want to know, but it does dissuade um, a practice where found, like investors will just forward decks to other investors. Yeah. And that is completely unfair and mm -hmm. you're protecting them there. And it really is helpful as you're saying to know that the deck was opened and it's helpful to know how, what pages people dropped off on or they zipped forward or they zipped back. And in fact, I, I was literally uh, getting prepared for the podcast this morning, and I realized, oh my lord, I'm a double hypocrite. Uh, number one, I love that I, I I I love what you do for my founders, so they can tell me, yeah, you know, five people in the at this venture firm opened our deck. We sent it to them, and they've been in it like ten times, and right. we just like updated the, it for the them. partner. Says I'm going to send it to the, my other partners, and then they don't do that, or they do that, and that tells you everything about how really engaged they are you know, right. and how likely they are to lead the round. It's a new year. It's a fresh start. And you've got your small business over here, your medium sized business, and you are now shifting business hours. Maybe you're hiring more remote employees. But the one thing that remains unchanged in the sea of change that we just experienced in 2020, and let's face it, 2021 is still going to have a lot of change, especially the first half. Well, you need to have the right people on your team. This is going to be a constant. No matter what happens in the world, talent is the most important thing for you as the founder and the best way to hire people. We all know this. You know this. I know it. It's LinkedIn Jobs. They can get you qualified candidates and they're going to find you the right person quickly. And most people say, listen, you can have quality or you can have speed. You know what? With LinkedIn Jobs, you get quality and you get speed. That's the magic of it. They have over 722 million members worldwide and getting started is super easy on LinkedIn Jobs. All of these features that they've created are designed to help you get high quality candidates. And when you post your job, you can put screening questions. I love those. And LinkedIn will quickly get those screening questions in front of the right people. And you can do this all from your mobile device now if you're on the run. We're hiring a bunch of people for my company, Launch. Guess where we're finding the best candidates? I'll wait for you. Okay, yep, that's right, LinkedIn Jobs. Of course it's LinkedIn Jobs. When your business is ready to make that next hire, find the right person with LinkedIn Jobs. You can pay what you want and get the first 50 off at linkedin.com slash twist. That's right, 50 bucks for your first job posting is waiting for you right now at linkedin.com slash twist. linkedin.com slash twist. Terms and conditions do apply because they're giving you 50. 